Hey guys, Sandra here from Carcraft Auto Detailing in Melbourne. As promised a few videos back, today's review is on AutoGleam's Super Resin Polish. This is actually the first AutoGleam product I ever tried that led me to give the company's other products a go almost 10 years ago. It's also another product that I tend to get a lot of messages about and that there seems to be a lot of confusion surrounding it or at least misleading information which I believe has given it an unfair representation in the past. I actually still remember the very first time I tried it and just how blown away I was at the amazing results. Now taking into consideration that 10 years ago the detailing market was nothing like it is today, this was an amazing standout product that really was in a league of its own. I'll also just quickly add that my Alfa Brera has just come back from a 600km road trip so I'll be giving it a decent decontamination wash in preparation for Super Resin Polish which I've done plenty of videos on if you want to see that process in a more thorough step by step video. And the paint is also due for a light correction and protection that I'll hopefully get to in the coming months. But in the meantime it's a perfect candidate for today's video and product. Now let's start with what this product actually is. A true car polish is an abrasive compound, which means it actually corrects and removes car paint imperfections permanently, such as swirls, deeper scratches, fading, oxidation, water spots and so on. And although the term polish is used for so many products out on the market, a large percentage of them have no polishing abrasives or qualities whatsoever. So in real terms, these products really aren't polishes at all but rather feeling and glossing agents that don't actually correct car paint but rather mask those imperfections by improving or eliminating the appearance of swirls and paint defects at least temporarily. The term glaze in relation to automotive paint has in my opinion been given a bad reputation and has also been linked to AutoGleam's Super Resin Polish. A glaze in its true definition or at least in my primary knowledge was a product that was used to enhance the paint, amplify gloss and bring brilliance to the finish of car paint before any wax or sealant which are themselves filling agents as well as protective products were applied. So a glaze was at least in the past much closer related to a polish than it was to a filler or masking agent. But that aside, not all products are simply black or white and Super Resin Polish is one of those grey area products that since its release has spawned many more products in its category which would be generally considered as an all-in-one polish. All-in-one polishes are products that correct car paint defects as well as fill minor imperfections and protect the finish all in one step and one product. But compared to what we consider as an all-in-one product today, Super Resin Polish is again a little different. And I'm pretty sure that compared to the first bottle I ever bought and the last one I used in this video, the chemistry of this product has also changed, becoming less of an abrasive compound and more of a solvent cleaning product. Now there's no doubt that this product does fill minor paint imperfections and actually does it as good as just about any product out there. And contrary to many beliefs, it also does correct minor paint imperfections. But its greatest and strongest attributes is its ability to clean and beautify paint like not many other products can, at least without undergoing full and time consuming paint correction. And I'll even go so far as to say that the finish it leaves on the paint is as good if not better than just about anything out there. The real important thing here to understand is what Super Resin Polish really is and to be realistic on the longevity of the results it achieves. And just because it feels and the finish is impermanent, it doesn't mean that it's evil or misleading. It just means that it's not a standard polish nor a standard sealant but somewhere in the middle. And once you understand and accept these things, you can then use this product freely to create a finish on your car's paint that will blow your mind considering how quick and easy it is.
As far as application goes, this is a product that just couldn't be easier to apply. And for those of you who haven't taken that step into machine polishing, Super Resin Polish is without a doubt the best and easiest product to apply by hand, especially if you're a little apprehensive about polishing your car for the first time. There's literally nothing I've tried that can give you such outstanding results by hand so quickly, and even more so, you really can't do any harm to your car's paint with this product, unlike other compounds and polishes that do require a little skill and knowledge to work with. So just like applying any product to your car's paint, work small sections at a time with circular and or short straight motions as this will give you the best results with super resin polish. Now depending on your paint's condition, you can use it with only light pressure if you just want to enhance the finish. But if your paint is a little more far gone, you will see improved results by adding more pressure and going over the paint a few more times. Be sure to allow it to dry and haze over before you buff it off with your microfiber cloth, which will both aid the look and longevity of the finish. But I have on many occasions polished the whole car and then gone back to buff off the residue once I was done. And once again, it just comes off so easy and is just a pleasure to work with. Now generally, you don't want to apply this or any other product in direct sunlight. But I just wanted to show just how forgiving it really is by working outdoors on this video while the sun was out. And it really didn't cause any issues at all. Hopefully you can see the results I was able to achieve in a matter of a minute working by hand on this somewhat faded and oxidized paint that many piano black side view mirrors suffer from. I'll also add that the Meguiar's even coat microfiber applicators will work much better and faster in my experience than your standard foam applicators when using super resin polish. And I'll even go as far as saying that I prefer using this product by hand as opposed to machine, which isn't something I generally say. Now you can certainly use it with an orbital or dual action polisher if you wish, which works great as well, but my advice is to use a light polishing pad, slow machine speed and very little pressure as to avoid dusting and quickly extinguishing the workable life of super resin polish. And quite honestly, there just isn't any noticeably greater results to be achieved by overworking this product by machine. As I said before, once you understand and accept how this product works and what it can achieve, you'll hopefully appreciate it for what it is and not condemn it for what it isn't. As far as durability goes, this isn't its strong point, nor is it meant to be. The finish can certainly last a few months on a garaged weekend car, but in real world conditions, if it's exposed to extreme heat and rain, which is life here in Melbourne, Australia, a few weeks and washes will see it diminish quite quickly. However, if you do apply a wax or sealant on top, once you've given it time to harden and cure, you can certainly extend the life of that finish by two to three times. Just be aware though, that any wax or sealant placed over it will change its wet slick look. But that can certainly be a more personal preference if you prefer that glow of a wax instead. Overall, in my experience, even with a top coat to protect and extend its life, it's never really gonna last as long as many other sealants or hybrid waxes placed directly on the paint. But you need to also consider that the minor correction and fantastic paint cleaning ability it provides is still going to be present once the filling properties have diminished. So your paint will still look better than it did before you applied it, even after it's gone. I'll provide links to Super Resin Polish and the Meguiar's applicators in the description box. 
and as always, feel free to comment and ask any further questions you may have. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.